In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a blueprint uh, with a roadmap for custom code lifecycle management. So the first thing you want to do is to go to the Solar Project Administration transaction. So it's a Solar Project Admin and from here we're going to create a brand new project and then I'll show you how to draw um, the roadmap inside. So from here the only thing you need to worry about is to put the English language in and of course uh, a title. And then if you go out to the scope and then from here you can take a roadmap and the roadmap you want to be looking for is the ESRV which is the engineering services roadmaps. So here you've got one uh, for the custom code management so if we take this one here and that's virtually all you need to do. So once you save that, it will create a blueprint uh, which we can use to deploy custom code to lifecycle management. So once it's saved, you can go directly to the business blueprint. Then from the business blueprint, we can add a scenario directly from the business process repository. So if I drop this down, we will find all the business processes within the business process repository. So from here, if we navigate down to SAP Solution Manager, and then we will find the custom code management folder. And if we include that, that will bring back all the artifacts required to deploy Solution Manager Custom Code Management. So from here, if I save, it will expand the folders with all the requisite steps and all the documentation will be available from for us at this point. So once we expand this folder, we can find under the business processes all the steps required to start the Custom Code Management project. So from here, we can find the documentation for the custom code management that would be under the particular step as general documentation. And here we have the standard SAP documentation, which includes learning maps and dashboards to deploy each piece of the custom code management scenario. So if you expand the business processes, you get a folder for transparency a folder for control, a folder for optimization, and a folder for reporting and governance. So if we take, for example, transparency, so transparency is how you count uh, your custom code. So if we have a look at the transactions required here, this is CCLM. Then if we have a look at getting the change impact, there's the CDMC transaction. So as well as the individual steps and the general documentation. So from this screen, you can go into the roadmap by following the menu path environment roadmap. And now you've got the custom code management roadmap to help you. So here you can set up um, different uh, phases of a project to run your custom code management project through from end to end. You can go into each section uh, of the roadmap and if you click into here all the artifacts would be ready for you. So these icons here are, are SAP packages which are available for you. These guys here are milestones or stage gates and then within here you've got a number of different artifacts in the form of accelerators and in the form of how-to guides. Thanks for listening.